Israel and the Palestinians have agreed to extend the truce in Gaza by a further 24 hours, just minutes before the current ceasefire was due to expire. It opens the way for agreement on a permanent truce, but it won't be so simple. Together, we're conducting this complicated campaign with determination and responsibility. We're ready for any scenario. The Israeli team in Cairo has been instructed to insist on Israel's security needs. Israel wants Hamas to disarm, a condition the Islamist group refuses. The Palestinians want to see an end to the blockade of the Gaza Strip, a sentiment shared by some in the international community. It remains my conviction that we must not leave Gaza in the condition it was in before this latest escalation. Otherwise, the restrictions on the Strip, on exit and entry of goods and people, will continue to fuel instability, underdevelopment and conflict. The fragile ceasefire has been in place since August 11th. Before then, the conflict had claimed more than 2,000 Palestinian lives, most of them civilians. On the Israeli side, 64 soldiers and three civilians have lost their lives.